The thing is, I've seen Tony like this before. He becomes fixated on one idea to the exclusion of all others. Sometimes the results are great. He can split a molecule and make it rain in the Sahara. But considering the danger we're all in, we can't afford to have anything less than absolute perfection. Otherwise, I'm afraid too many people will die. Lilith approaches. I have never seen her so determined. And now, child, you shall be free. Still creepy. Indeed. I cannot move. Yet I hear myself shut. Bastard wants Kathan back less than we do. Count on that. Coward. You two deserve each other. Hate me all you want when we get home, kid. But it's the only option. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm gonna find him. Blaze. And when I do... So defensive and listen to us, Robbie. We're just worried about you, that's all. No need to be worried. I got this. I don't think you fully understand what you're carrying. The parchment packs a lot of evil. And what? You don't think I can handle it? I'll have you know that you aren't the only one who has a corner on controlling darkness. Just ask Sparky. We're just concerned. Concerned? You're starting to sound an awful lot like Caretaker, Nico. Since when did you become such a jerk? Since he started carrying that damn page, that's Why when... don't you worry about yourself, Blade? Whatever you say, Robbie. Why don't you go find Peter? Well, maybe I will. I'm out. Well, we tried. The parchment of power is no joke. Then again, neither is Robbie. Let's just hope he's right and he can handle it. <sighs> yeah, let's hope. Something about Jeremiah Kane's statue drew me. Guess it's that old spirit of vengeance connection, huh? Like you, Kane carried more burdens than any one man should. Yeah, so he knew how the big honor could also become a curse. Do you feel like you have been cursed? Absolutely. I mean, it's awesome to be one of the Midnight Suns and have the incredible responsibility of carrying the parchment of power. But it also really sucks. No one ever said our tasks would be easy. Especially now. I get it. It would just be nice if the price of failure wasn't, you know, the end of the world. Blaze's betrayal probably soured your outlook. About that. I keep thinking about what happened back in Limbo. Right before all the fighting broke out, when Blaze told me you were the key to the parchment, the prophecy, all of it. And that if we took you out, the world might survive. Robbie. I, I know what you're gonna say. Don't trust Blaze. I get it. Which is why I'm thinking I should read this parchment for myself and find out exactly what caused him to get so worked up about you. The forces of the parchment and the dark hold are not to be trifled with, Robbie. You cannot expect to read the page the way you would a normal book. Oh boy, here we go. More of that. This is beyond you, Robbie. I've been hearing this junk since I asked to see my first R-rated movie as a kid. Guess what? I snuck into those movies and I can sneak a peek at the parchment. Trust me, this is not the same as childhood misbehavior. You are gambling not just with your life, but the lives of all of those who love you. Fine, forget it. I'm not gonna read the page. Happy now? I am relieved, yes. But what are you going to do instead? I'm gonna do what I normally do. Sit and worry. And hope Stark hurries up with whatever he's building in the forge. That may take a while. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear you say that. Family protects one another. Family loves one another. Family would do anything to save one another. Is that not what these heroes of yours preach? Then why abandon you at the doorstep of that wretched pretender Mephisto, my precious child? After the traitor Blaze betrayed me to that demon, Robbie would not leave my side. Ileana tore through reality itself to find me. I am here now because of their actions. Not yours. Then for once I am grateful to them. Still, 
I fear you have traded one problem for another. Say what you will about Johnny Blaze, but his soul is one of the strongest I have ever encountered. He has carried the parchment for decades without succumbing to its call, battled angels and demons alike, and rattled the thrones of far too many gods. It almost seems like you admire him. I simply state the facts. Now he is free of the page, and another takes on the mantle of its guardian. Robbie. Do you really think he will prevail over the parchment of power? You are right, Mother. I am? Robbie will never be Johnny Blaze. He will become something far greater. I gladly place my fate and that of the world in his hands. My original offer still stands. If you truly value your friend, relieve him of his burden and surrender the parchment to me. Ignore my warning, and Blaze's betrayal will be a fond memory compared to what is coming next. I hope the others slept better than I did. No, that can't be. I had that dream, too. Maybe it was something we ate. Don't you mean someone? Hmm, I don't know. This stinks of a hex or a curse or something. If we all had the same nightmare, does that mean we all share the same subconscious neuroses? God, I hope not. The probability of every single one of us walking the same dream state is a billion trillion to one. It must mean something. Yeah, it means we might want to have a little chat with our friendly neighborhood hunter. Oh, I knew I should have let Mr. Murdoch copyright that for me. I still can't get that image out of my mind. Same here. And that's saying a lot these days. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for this all. There is... the parchment. I knew that page would find a way of messing with our heads. Or maybe it was warning us about you-know-who. Did you have the dream? What dream? I'm here, if you want to talk about it. I'm assuming you had the same dream last night as the rest of us. I am pretty sure I did not. What was it? I'll let Wanda tell you. She's better at communicating those kinds of things. All I can say is, what I saw last night made me worry about you. I appreciate the concern, Robbie, but I'm alright. Whatever happened was just a dream. Yeah. You seem all right standing here in the light of day, but that dream last night feels like too much of a coincidence that every single person in this abbey shared it. I wish I could explain it. Maybe it is the page, messing with us, trying to make us suspicious of each other. It is possible. The full effects of the parchment of power have gone largely unstudied. And they will remain unstudied. Honestly, I can't wait for it to be destroyed. So, you are not going to read it? Hell no. And not just because I suspect it's giving me bad dreams. Because I know whatever Blaze read set him off so hard that he betrayed us. Are you afraid of reading the page because you think you would betray us, Robbie? Kinda. Yeah. I do not think you ever could. You are made of stronger stuff than Blaze. Thanks, Hunter. It makes me feel better, but I'm still not chancing it. I think Wanda wants to talk to you. I, I, I should stop monopolizing your time and let her get a word in. Oh, and Hunter? Yes, Robbie? Take care of yourself, okay? Like, really take care. I always do. What is everyone so upset about? A nightmare. We all had the same one last night, and it has unnerved us. Wondering if you had the same one too. Would be weird if you were the only one in the Abbey who didn't. You mean the one about Lilith? Wait, you had a dream about Lilith? Is that not the one you all had? No, Hunter. We had a dream about you. And it was a pretty awful one too. What? What about me? Let's just say you... uh... Something threw you above us. 
Your face twisted in what could only be described as extreme agony. And that's as far as I want to remember. I don't want to freak you out. I mean, it was just a dream, right? Probably. Everything will be all right. I just hope you're all right. Nightmare or not, it's shaken us up. Wanda, I promise you, it was just a dream. How can you be so sure? We should probably stop talking now. Everyone is staring. They are staring? Yep. They really are frightened, are they not? Hey, if it makes you feel any better, everyone here is just as afraid of me as they are of you. Come on over, Hunter. I'm slinging some hot, fresh, parchment-blasting tech here. Is this it? Is this the thing that will destroy the parchment? Well, you better believe it. That's the Gamma Accelerator. Plus a few tips taken from dear old Dad's notes. Plus a few crucial adjustments. Plus some revolutionary new tech created on the fly. Are you sure it will work? I'm sure you've got a million questions. Come to the War Room and you can hear my full spiel. Trust me. You won't want to miss it. I don't like to say that I do my best work under pressure, but I think this time, I even amazed myself. It looks impressive. I just hope it does what you say it will. Everyone is so nervous about that. Wait until you see my presentation. Like I always say, if you're gonna make a leap into the unknown, do it with Stark Tech by your side. If you manage to stop the prophecy, I will be the first to sing your praises. So you're promising karaoke. I'm gonna hold you to that, Hunter. This thing won't fail. What about your father's research? Do you feel comfortable using it as the basis for this canon? I'm only perfecting the stuff he started. It's like I took all the skeletons out of my family closet, dusted them off, and now they're going to do community service. It is powered by skeletons. Don't worry. Figure of speech. No actual skeletons in there, just massive amounts of gamma radiation. Our friend Banner thought he was going to use it to get supercharged. But this thing's going to shut his team down, permanently. I really hope you are right. Defeating Banner would be a nice bonus on top of destroying the parchment. Well, more than anything, I want him back. Back on our side. Where he belongs. I don't think this thing can grant all my wishes, but it can't hurt. So... what now? Now comes the hard part. Explaining my plan to the team. Now, I know a lot of you aren't used to the scientific method. So, take a breath, let it all soak in. I can talk you through the really complex parts. You want to shoot the indestructible page with a giant ray gun? A giant gamma ray gun. You can't just blow up the parchment of power with gamma energy. It isn't done. He has a point. Look, you and the Hocus Pocus crowd had your shot. Now, it's my turn. Mine and how? Your father's research. Pops wasn't trying to weaponize gamma energy. He was trying to supercharge it into an almost unlimited power source. Should probably thank Bruce for helping me realize that. Problem is, gamma energy has a threshold. Push it too much and it goes boom, big time. Enter Los Diablos. Birthplace of the Hulk. And the last time somebody tried putting Pops' theories to the test. Entire area is still saturated with that same modified energy. If I can channel it through my accelerator cannon, well, that gamma field page of yours will go boom. Big time? Bingo. Huge time. We're gonna need a tremendous amount of power. And not just gamma. Yo, lost boys. And lost girls. Saddle up. We need you. Sabretooth's still out there. They ain't going nowhere without me. The more the better. Somebody's gotta clap when I thwart the apocalypse. Again. What's the word, kid? Nothing. Nothing is definitely the word. Oh, well, nothing's good. You don't have the Abbey masking you in that page right now. Just keep a safe distance a little longer until we're ready here. With even one blast, my gamma cannon will drain the ambient gamma energy from this entire valley. This is gonna have to be a one-shot deal. Then don't miss. Got that part covered. This is by far.
far the worst plan I've ever been part of. And I've done jobs with Deadpool. Robbie cannot hide that page forever. If there is any chance of removing that burden from him. Huh. Speaking of. Yo, fast in the Flamius. What did I just tell you? Stark! Power up that damn ray gun! What? Stark! Multiple targets! Close it on your position! <sighs> that ain't Robbie. Now. How long do you need? How would I know? I just invented the damn things yesterday. Then keep going. We will hold the line. Stark. Too smart for your own good. Ignore the others and follow that page. It's time I return home. Done where you <laughs> Mess, you know. What? But y'all had to do things the hard way. <laughs> you were right, kid. I am a coward. Been running from this moment my whole life. World's really gonna beat this thing, it'll need someone strong. Like you.
have their time. will deliver the page to Lilith, just as it was foretold, just as she planned all along. All right, because you're telling me she orchestrated all of this? My mother always gets what she wants. With the dark hold in her grasp, there is only one thing she is missing. Me. Only thing is, magic took out Sabretooth. Now I don't feel like smoking it. Knew one day he'd cut off more than he could chew. I just thought Creed's reckoning was mine to deliver. Speaking from experience. Yeah, your mama's got it in for you. Not to mention the rest of us, too. Just because it wasn't me doesn't mean Victor Creed didn't have it coming. It is indeed dark times when the youth must make dark choices. I'm worried about the kid. You change when you cancel someone's check. We can't afford another one on our side pulling a banner. We are Ileana's family, and we must do our best to be there for her when she needs us. None of us can guarantee we'll be around. We're gonna have to tangle with the Hulk at some point. The Hulk situation worries us all. I've survived a few dust-ups of the Green Rage monster. Two reasons I walked away. Healing factor, and I got the feeling the banner was holding the green guy back. I don't get that feeling anymore, do you? There is only Lilith and the Hulk. You take out one, and I'll get the other. There's no chance I'll pull a Tony and let Hulk walk. Hulk and me tussle before, and it hurt. Bad. I can't get Blaze out of my head. I don't mean possession or anything. Just everything that happened. Tell me what you were thinking. On the one hand, he was my personal hero. On the other hand, he tried to destroy you. On the other, other hand, he sacrificed himself to save me. How do I honor him and still be truthful? It's too many hands. If you are feeling conflicted about the man, honor his spirit. I don't understand. The spirit of vengeance. He carried it in himself for so long. Talk about what having the spirit means to you and what it meant to him. Find the things that unite you. We both carried a burden for a long time. I only hope I don't turn into an asshole like him. The fact that this is torturing you so much makes me think you will not. If you say so. Whatever you decide to do, do it quickly. I am afraid we are running out of time. You really helped clarify my thinking. Thank you. I I'll figure something out by morning. Promise. So I think we'll leave it there for today's episode. So as always, if you did enjoy the episode, make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button for more, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.